Hello, hello, peeps. Mr. ATC, as always, back to you for nos ordi en français. Throughout recycling. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to create an extra large bed using pallet wood. And if you are new to our community, I will advise you to subscribe just right here. Then click on the bell to receive a notification every time I'm sharing new content with you. Then now, let's make it happen. Let's go. And as you can see, for this project, we will be using mainly some pallets from the Euro pallet type. And of course, for this project, we will need several of them. In total, 10. But at the beginning, just 8. And for the top of the bed, I will be using two pallets, but of course, removing part of it. Alright, so now we're gonna start and fill up the different holes but before doing that i will be pushing some of the nails as you can see me doing it here because some of them are always coming out to move after that to apply some wood filler as you can see me doing in the different holes in order to cover the different nails Then I will be going back to my work table in order to cut part of the head as I was showing you at the beginning. Here, instead of 1 meter 20, I will be reducing everything at 80 cm. Then after that, turning it around in order to make the cut using my jigsaw. In the next part here, I didn't really have to do it, but I've decided to fill up uh, the end of the cutted uh, pallet in order to add a piece of wood to finish it and to make it look better without too much holes. Then now that I have both of them, I will be again filling up the different holes with some wood filler all right so now that i have all the different pallets ready i'm gonna put them on the ground and as you can see i'm putting them over some pieces of wood that i have in my workshop so they don't touch too much the ground Then now, after completing the entire design, I will be using some screws in order to attach them all. Now that they are all attached, I will be putting them all up in order to apply my favorite wood burning method before the sanding, the Sushugi Ban. Then when I'm done with this effect, I'm moving now to some sanding. The difficult part with sanding those type of pallets is the fact that when you are using a belt sander, it's always breaking. So now I've decided to use another tool, but I will tell you a little bit more about it in the next video. Then after that, applying the first layer of transparent lacquer. After that, putting back together all the different blocks. 
to move for the end actually to the different part that will be added using plywood and note that those different pieces of plywood will be painted in blue and they will be added in different parts of the bed in order to highlight the blue lagoon design as you can see i'm using some part at the bottom but also two pieces in front you will be seeing it in a few minutes and as usual to make the different cuts i will, I will be using my miter saw And now that I found the different placement for each of them, I will be sanding the different parts and adding the blue color on each of them. And after that, while I'm waiting for the paint to dry out, I will be adding the bed top using some very long screw. I will advise you if you're doing the same to use some screws with a minimum of 8 cm long. Then here we are again with a nice extra large bed using some palette. Alright, I hope that you like all those projects that I'm sharing with you on a weekly basis. If it's the case, feel free to let us know in the comments below or maybe you can share with us your own projects that you're doing at home. And of course, you can share some of your projects with us via MyTC app, our website, www.atc-c.com. As always, it's always a pleasure for me to share all those projects with you to inspire you to recycle at home. And as always, if you are new to our community, feel free to subscribe just right here at MyTC TV. Then click on the bell to receive a notification every time I'm sharing new content with you. Then, I will see you next time.